Okay. So, I've been trying to make a serious video for a little bit. Uh, this is a 72, 77 uh, GM HEI distributor. So there's the coil inside the cap. And there's a couple of tests um, you can do for each part. Uh, this is the module. And then there is the, um, the points here. Um, I can't never think of the freaking word. It tells it when to spark, basically. So we can test all of that to see if everything's working here. Um, so first off, I have auto sensing. So that's in ohms. Uh, we're going to test both sides of the um, coil. So there's a red and the white. Test those. 0.8. I believe the range is somewhere anywhere between um, 0.3 and 1 uh, ohms resistance, uh, kilo ohms probably. Um, then the next one that you will test is, um, sorry, the ground, so the middle wire, to your center point. So this just shows that, so 14, uh, that's kilo ohms. So that's good. I believe that should be anywhere between um, zero and 70. You can look it up. Anyways, so that's just some basic resistance tests. Uh, you can do on this. Now, if you want some more real life testing, I got a battery hooked up here. Just got a negative wire with a spade terminal. Hook that up. Uh, I think I'm done with this for now. Um, I have a light hooked up to the positive, and then I have a positive wire hooked up to, let's get rid of these wires. Oh, those are for, those are for later. And may, hopefully this will stay straight. Positive wire hooked up to the positive side. So positive on this is gonna be the orange, obviously, and black. Uh, nowadays, if you're a new school person, uh, they use black as power, but uh, forever they use black as ground. So now we have powered the module. And so every time we spin this, to see if this module is giving a signal, or to see if the, uh, the mag pickup, that's a magnetic pickup in there, is signaling the module to fire, we will put our light on the brown wire. Let's see if I can probe it from the back here. Okay, and then we'll just spin the distributor. Okay, and you'll see, I don't know if it picks it up. It'll pulse at how you turn it. So you can turn it fast. So we are getting spark signal from the module. Great. So at this point, we know that everything on this side is working. Okay, awesome. So now what we'll do is we will put our uh, rotor on and we'll put our cap back on. As you can see for this, I've already taped off uh, the ones I'm not gonna put the tester on. And so for this one, I'm going to put, because uh, it's different connectors, I'm gonna have to connect from the bottom now. So this is another wire, but with a female spade. Yeah, awesome. 
Okay, we'll pop this back on. We'll pop the rotor on, sorry. So now, this just is a real life simulation. that in. Now what we have here is going to be, uh, so, oops, make sure those are all in. Oh, there we go. So this is just a tack and this is battery. So we need the positive to the battery. Let's see, I remember, I, I did have a second wire one time uh, grounding this, uh, grounding um, the frame, because normally it ground to the block in the frame, but I think it'll work just like this. So then I got a spark tester. I'm just gonna hook it up to this. So now we have power. I'm pretty sure this is how I get, um, and then we just spin it yeah okay do you know what I think I need to ground the module Oh yeah, so that went right through the electrical tape. <laughs> so you do have to ground uh, the chassis. I, I knew that, but you know what? Yeah, it happens sometimes. This, like this is super high energy sparks, right? So ground that. I don't know if you can see it, it's sparking all around, so I don't want to destroy this coil. Because I already bought all brand new internals. So if you are going to test it, you are going to want to ground um, this to the chassis like that. Um, so yeah, so I know indefinitely that we are getting spark. Hopefully that picks it up how it's grounding to you. I mean, this is just a ground magnet. Hopefully the camera picks that all up. There you go. That's how you test an HEI distributor. Um, I think it's like 70,000 volts. That's probably why these little bit of electrical tapes didn't work. But whatever, uh, I've been trying to make this video for a while, and yeah, like a couple weeks now. But yeah, like and subscribe. Uh, go check out my Only Sockets page. It's um, you know you get exclusive content there, and um, yeah, I hope this helps you out. Ow.